Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Gitfos 10.1 inch smart Wi-Fi photo frame. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reading it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So this is a digital picture frame with Wi-Fi capabilities. It uses the Framio app and this specific model has a wood style frame around it. So let's look at the back here. Here it says grandparents, mom and dad, son and daughter, closest friends. This is SD card compatible. You can use an app you can add captions has privacy wi-fi enabled so if i'm understanding correctly i think this only works on 2.4 gig wi-fi but this won't take up a lot of bandwidth so let's take a look at this here we have the manual so here's a diagram of it we have the power button it says after connecting the power adapter press and hold the power button for approximately five seconds until the screen turns on when it is on press and hold the power button for approximately three seconds to access reboot or power off menu short press the power button to turn on off the screen and that will leave the photo frame on it says micro usb connect a usb flash drive usb is for service only reset use a needle or paper clip to reset the unit micro sd card load external max 32 gigabyte micro sd card here dc connect dc adapter to power on the device usb B, type A load flash drive here. So here we have getting started. It has QR code to download the app. And this talks about setting up Framio. And I'll walk through that. This talks about managing photos. And we have other settings on here. So let's pull this out of here. It says, notice the wood is fragile. Please handle with care. So here's the frame. Let's pull this other stuff out of here. So we'll get back to the frame for a second, but I want to look at the power supply. So this outputs 5 volts at 2 amps. So this would be similar in power to a USB charger. The cord length is a little over 5 feet. So here we have the faux wood frame. We have a white mat and then the screen for displaying the photos. So on the back here, you can see there's clips to hold this on. So this could potentially be removed. I'm not sure. There's a speaker on the back. We have keyholes so you could hang this. We have the on button. Here we have the reset hole, micro SD, USB, micro USB. And I think that's the one for programming at the factory. And we have power. And then we have a kickstand here. So this comes with two kickstands and these thread in like so. So if you set this on a table or desk, you can have it like that, or you can have it like this. But in this orientation, this tilts back quite a way, so you might want the larger one there, like that. So I'll put the other one back on. So let's plug this into power. Let's have a right angle power adapter there. So if you have this sitting on a desk, it's not going to poke out the side, so that's nice. There we go. And actually, I think I'm going to remove the kickstand because this can be kind of hard to see under my camera and lights at the angle I film at. So I'll go turn the overhead light off so we don't get the glare and then I'll take a look at this. Okay, so I've turned the overhead lights off. I'll plug it in. Okay, it turned on. Here's the Framio icon. This is Framio. Okay, it says welcome. Never disconnect power when Framio is running. Here we have a welcome screen. It's on English, so I'll hit next. And this is a touch screen, so I'm just going to tap the screen. Now it says connect to Wi-Fi, so I'll choose my Wi-Fi network. I'll enter in my Wi-Fi password. I'll hit next. It wants to know my time zone, so I'll enter that in. It's already set its own date and time, and I can set 24-hour time format. I'll hit next. It says there's an update available, so I'll hit download and install. So that will take a while. I'll speed that up here. Okay, it restarted and had me go through those settings again. So I just hit next on all of those and then it checks for the update. And that's already there. So it says your full name. Enter that. I'll enter the location. I'll hit next. It says let's guide you. The first step on your new frame is to add some friends who can send you photos. I'll hit next. It says generate code. Once you press the friend icon, you'll see a code. It says pass the code. Give this code to a friend you want to add. You can do this by telling, texting, sending a photo of it, or another way of your choice. Tell your friend to download the Framio app or they can enter the code you sent. Now you're ready. So I'll hit done. It says you have not received any photos yet. Tap the friend icon to add more friends. So I'll say add friend. And here I have a code. Okay, so I'm on my iPad. I'm in the app store. I'll look up Framio or you can use those QR codes to download it. I'll open up the app. It says it would like to send notifications. I'll allow. It wants me to enter my name, so I'll do that. It says, let's guide you to send photos to a frame. Please ask the owner of the frame for a code. So it goes over the same things we saw on the frame itself. So I'll hit add friend at the top. I'll enter in the code. I'll hit OK. It says I can add photos. So I'll tap on a photo. I'll hit next. I have the living room selected. I'll hit next. I can write a caption. I'll hit next. It says adjust the photo so that the circle contains the most important part of the photo. This part will be visible when the frame is positioned in both landscape and portrait mode. I'll say OK. I'll hit send photo. 
and now it's popped up on the frame. It says introducing reactions. Receive notifications when your loved ones share their reactions to your latest sent photos and videos. I'll say OK. So if I tap on the screen here, we can react to it. I'll hit like. And now I have a notification on my iPad that Rick loved your photo. So on the app, you can press the little button in the bottom left of this main photo, and you can select multiple photos here. So you can send more than one at a time. So the idea behind this is that you can give this frame to a friend, grandparent, son, daughter. They can set it up at their location, or you can set it up for them, and then you can send photos to it. So you could put this in a grandparent's house, and you could have all their kids and grandkids have access to this on their own app, and they can send photos to this frame. So we can also stick a flash drive in here to load photos on it. So here I have a 32 two gigabyte flash drive. I'll plug that in. I'll tap on the picture. I'll go to settings. I'll go to manage photos. I'll go to import photos. It says looking for external storage. So here's a message telling us that it can't currently import video. So this will play 15 second video clips, but you do have to send them from your Android or iOS device. I'll say don't show that again. I'll hit OK. So I'll tap in the upper right here to select all photos, and then I'll hit download. So this will download all of those photos to the frame. This frame has 16 gigabytes, so you can put thousands of photos on here. Needless to say, higher resolution photos will take up more room. So if you're an advanced user, you could downsample and then optimize how many photos you could put on here. But for most people, just taking photos with a smartphone and sending them through the app, you'll have room for many, many, many photos on here. Okay, it says all photos were imported. I'll hit okay. So I can back out of here now. And now all of the photos are on the frame. So I can swipe through here, but this will also switch on its own. Now we can tilt this. There we go. So now we're in portrait mode. So this does crop the photo. You can tap on it and say fit to frame, and then it will shrink it down. But I tend to prefer the landscape mode for my photos, but it does have the option to go into portrait mode. And then this will cycle through the photos. So let's go over the interface. We have hide photo, gallery, fill frame, or adjust photo. So if we hit adjust photo, we can do things like rotate it. So if you have a photo that's upside down or sideways, you can fix it. We have gallery, which will show thumbnails of the photos. So here I can pick a specific photo. Then we have the on off button here. We can go to settings again. Let's take a little bit deeper look at this. So we have the things we entered in during setup. We have manage photos. So this tells us how much space we've used. So I have 162 photos on here and I've used 0.07 gigabytes of 12.52 gigabytes. We can hide show photos, delete photos, import photos. And we can also export photos. So if people have sent photos to the frame, you can put a external storage card in there, SD card, USB, and transfer the photos to that card. Now, as far as I know, you can't display the photos directly off the card with this frame. Here we have my friends. So we have my iPad there. So I can click settings here if I want to delete this person. We have display. We can change the brightness level. We also have sleep mode. So we can set what time this wakes up and sleeps during the day. It says sleep mode starts at 11 p.m. and ends at 7 a.m. each day. So this will be off from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. I'll hit slideshow. Here we have the timer. It says show each photo for 30 seconds. I can go from one second to 24 hours on that. So I'll switch this to five seconds for now. So if you just want one photo each day, you can set that up on here. We can select show caption or not. We can set the default for fill frame. Here we can change the photo display order. We can change it by date received, date taken, or shuffle. So as you get a lot of photos, shuffle might be a good option. We can reverse the display order to display the oldest to newest. We have video audio play, that's turned on. We have video playback, play once, play once and continue, or loop videos. And then we have the video volume. Then we have Wi-Fi where we set up Wi-Fi. We have notifications, and we have all of the different notifications we can see on here. Here's backup and restore. So we can back up the frame to the SD card, and we have help, and we have about. So let's go back to the frame. So I'll close this notification here. Looks like there's some news here. Oh, it talks about notifications, okay. So now this is set to five seconds. So if I wait five seconds, we'll see this transition to the next picture. I've had the frame plugged into this energy monitor. So if we go down here, it is taking 4.9, 4.2 watts. It's jumping up and down a little bit. And if we go to cost, it's cost one penny, but let's extrapolate this out. So if we take it to a year, this would cost $2.36 per year. And that's based on nine cents per kilowatt hour. And this is turning off at 11 p.m. and turning on at 7 a.m. Now I don't want anyone to expect they're gonna pay this exact amount for electricity for this. This is to give you a ballpark of what it would cost. Then if we go here, it's used 0.18 kilowatt hours. So that's the GetFoes 
10.1 inch smart Wi-Fi photo frame. I think a frame like this is a great way to get the photos off of your devices out where people can see them. You can use this in your own home to share your own photos with your friends and family. But the cool thing about this is that you can put this at a grandparent's house and share your photos with them. The nice thing about this is that all they need is Wi-Fi. So they don't need to have their own device. They don't even need to have their own phone, smartphone, tablet, computer. You can hook this up to their Wi-Fi and then you can start sending photos to it. You don't even need an account. You just enter that number in and the app takes care of everything else. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.